Alright then. I want you to move right there. The alien craft is still intact. And they've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Shouldn't be too hard. You missed. How the fuck did you miss? That is bullshit. You should not have missed that. God damn it. Well then, hopefully you can take a hit. If you can't, well then you're fucked. Uh, do you have a grenade? No, you do not. Uh, what we do need is for people to be getting help over here. You have full health and you need to be recovered, so... You've been doing a lot of good work, so... Heal wound. Help him out here. Okay, good. Making sure we got the right person here. Come on, time to cowboy up. <laughs> cowboy up, nice. Alright, good, you're good, x -Fair. Shit. You have one too, please tell me you do. Okay, you need to stabilize him. Come on, hold on. He can be revived. I don't know exactly what that means, but we're gonna have to wait for that. Alright then, at this fucking distance, Hedrix, you can't fucking miss, okay? If you miss this, I'm going to fire a rocket launcher this fucking close. Good, you hit him, okay. Nailed him. Alright then. Trekkie, uh... Yeah, apparently we are going to have to get in there through the sides. We're going to want to cover both ends. Uh, let's go with that for now. Alright then. Yeah, I'm going to have to do last names so that actually makes sense. Alright then, I need you to heal this fucker. How do you revive people? Seriously, how the fuck do you revive people? Stabilize, heal wound. I have no idea. We're gonna have to wait on that one. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to leave you be. Sorry, bro. And you need to... Where's the reload? Here we go. Reload. Yes, reload your shotgun. an impact like that at such a velocity the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of god damn our readings can't be right if they were that's a being of almost pure energy huh, i don't remember that the in the actual xcom series are like nothing i've ever seen you can study it when it's dead doctor let's take that thing down no, we must keep it alive, sir. Then go for it. Sweet. Good, we're done. Oh, thank God. It seems to have vanished. What? That's odd. I have no idea what that could be. It doesn't remind me anything from the original XCOM series. So good. Looks like we didn't lose one of our that operative. All right, then good to know. So that's about another 40, uh, 45 hours of recording. Yes, a lot of our soldiers seem to have been promoted now. I'm gonna have to change the names. Oh, oh, I guess, I guess they do the nicknames themselves. What, okay, whatever. So Hedrix has been promoted, Trekkie's been promoted, and Xfair has been promoted, nice. Uh, ooh, new research of Arab Carpass armor. 
I have no idea how to say that. We got alien alloys, which are from the ship. Illyrium is very important. It's from the ship. A UFO flight computer, obviously. A UFO power source. Uh, so, yeah, lots of stuff like that. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. Yep. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Alright then, makes sense. XCOM database provides a running, yep. Which means you can go back to any old material that you want to read. Very nice. Do we actually get to do whatever the fuck we want? Yes. Anyway, barracks. Your soldiers. Alright, promotion for you, Hedrix. Been kicking ass so far. Let's see. Shred rocket. Fire rocket that causes all enemies to hit take 30% damage from all sources for the next four turns. Ooh, very nice. The rocket's blast is weaker than a standard rocket. Rocket suppression. Can fire a special shot that grants reaction fire at a single target. Ooh. I like that. Very nice. All right then. So, and for your name, because we need to change that. Um, now we we need to keep those nano suits. For future reference, I'm just gonna do the first name. Uh, I'm just gonna do it in the last name. Next person, Trekkie, my man. All right then. Covering fire allows reaction shots to trigger an enemy attacks, not movement. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Nice. You you want that. Ooh, Sprinter. That's a good one, too. And I'm probably going to want my soldiers to be moving within themselves for now. So, no. So, we stick with this one. And customize. Last name. Yeah, nine. Thought I pushed out there for a second. I was like, nope. All right then, cool. You got two kills. I guess you're our new guy in for now. We we're gonna have to change our other guy for later, I guess, till he's out of the. Can we promote him now? Yes. Okay, cool. I was wondering if we could still promote the fucker. All right then, tactical sense covers. Ooh, plus five minutes per enemy in sight. Max twenty. That is awesome. And covers 100 critical chance per enemy in sight. Aw, oh, dude, this guy is. Dude, go X fair, bro. Uh. You're going to need the defense, considering the fact that you're close to range currently. So, yeah. We're just going to stick with Our that for now. specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. That makes sense. Sweet, now we got our sniper Muhammad back. Well, he's, he's still wounded, but... And I think that's... Oh, no, I needed to do x name name, didn't I? Yep. Uh... Customize, last name, yep, okay. And after this, all last name shall be uh, just with uh, Xpera, okay. After this, all last, after this, uh, there are, it's only gonna be uh, people uh, People who are given names after this will only have their last name so I can actually look at them on the spot instead of just constantly seeing O, 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 O. Very cool, officer training school. Squatty size, we're definitely gonna need a bigger size of size of soldiers, and what's wet work? And I'll go with the squatty size. Purchase. Alright. Ooh, so that's, this is where we hire soldiers as well. Change research project. Okay, well, I think we only need one more day. Access research archives. Okay. This is how we check out the older stuff. Situation can't room. I believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. It's all right. Objectives: construct alien and uh, build arc thrower. Oh yeah, we still need to do that, don't we? But we got we got to research it first. Capture live alien, interrogate the captive alien. Yep. I only need one more day, so let's just check out the assign new research. 
All right then, Arc Thrower. We've completed our research into the Arc Thrower prototype, and we believe this device is ready for final production and engineering. The mechanism functions on the basic premise of neurological disruption, emitting a focused edited as a first shield to non-lethal weapons based on the alien's psycho physiology. It's safe to assume there may be unexpected results in the field. It's very likely that some aliens will resist the disabling effect of the weapon. It may cause... In which case, it might be more effective to weaken the enemy first. Okay, so use it like a fucking Pokeball. <laughs> weaken it! Go! Arc Thrower! Arc Thrower is a power supply technology which limits its effectiveness to two shots per deployment. Any captives retrieved from the field will have... will be... okay. So, in short, no point using this until we get some shit done. Arc thrower is a non- yeah, yeah. Again, I wish we had the goddamn, uh... Um... Definitely want those weapon fragments. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Alright, thank you. I wish we could do more than one at a time, but what are you gonna do, I guess? Build by items. We need to build that arc thrower. Manufacture. Uh, we don't really have a lot of stuff, so let's just have one for now. Alright, then cool. Really not much we can do. But if we really want to expand our facilities. We're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Ah, that's an interesting. Yeah, I do like the idea of the ant hill, which is their type of way of doing this. The ant hill. Uh, I can't think of it exactly, but the ant hill in terms of the game, uh, building bases and whatnot. All right, then. So hangar. You ship list, Raven, ready, repairing. Yeah, even after a mission, they have to be repaired, which sucks. Oh, so we can't have more than one spot. Thank you. Oh, God. I don't know if that means we have to have the base in order to do that, but still, it's very nice. We can't really do much for now. So, in short, I'm actually going to end the video here, and then we are going to search for more aliens. It seems like we finally have control of this whole place ourselves. This is <laughs> very fucking nice. I do love this. I, I, I am going to be enjoying this playthrough. I will tell you what. So then, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a comment and a like in the thing below, in well, in the com in the uh, video below, and uh, you could possibly remember to put capitalization male or female, and you could be put as the next soldier in this app's comp. You could become a soldier in defending the Earth, and part of the team of X I, I can't fucking speak. But if you want to be a part of XCOM and defend the Earth, write a comment, like the video, and I will be doing this a hell of a lot more. And it's actually a lot of fun naming your soldiers after your. Uh, after people commenting in the video. So I do hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, catching the next one. This is uh, Mike June the second signing out.